From Bothell, Seattle, Bellevue, and eventually Redmond, people are riding bike share bicycles into Kirkland to get to work, to get to shopping areas, and to visit. The Kirkland City Council is trying to figure out if and how to integrate this emerging idea into the city's transportation network. Specifically, city council members are trying to decide whether to launch a one-year pilot for a bike share permitting program right here in Kirkland. And before they make that decision, they want to hear what you have to say. Hi, I'm Jim Lopez, the Assistant City Manager here at the City of Kirkland, and I'm here to ask you for your thoughts on bike share. In this presentation, I'll give you a brief history of bike share programs across the world. We'll talk a little bit about how the bike share decision came before the Kirkland City Council. We'll discuss some of the pros and the cons of bike share programs. And I'll close by asking for your opinion on whether the council should adopt a bike share pilot program here in Kirkland. So let's get started with a history of bike share. Bike share programs started in Amsterdam in the 1960s and have slowly gained popularity around the world. Most of the largest bike share programs are now in Asia. In many ways, the growth of bike share programs has mirrored the advancement in bike share technology. For example, the most modern systems involve using smartphone applications to locate bikes that are left in location throughout a community, not limited to a more traditional fixed docking station approach. And this technology is being applied to scooters as well which is a very fast growing market right now. It's important to note that bike share programs are impacting our city whether the council creates a pilot program or not. This slide shows a map of Seattle, Bellevue, and Bothell, all cities with active permitting programs. And those bikes are showing up in Kirkland. This slide shows a map of available bikes and scooters on an actual day in our city. All this inventory comes from our neighboring cities. So let's talk briefly about why the City Council is considering this permitting program. First, it's very difficult to widen the roads. As this slide shows, on the far left you see a group of cars taking up all the space on a city street. In the middle picture you see the same number of people in those cars depicted as they would be sitting in a bus, showing far less space being taken up. And on the right, far right picture you see the same group of people on bikes showing really that bikes do take cars off the road. And given that bike share is already on the east side, the council thought it wise to ask this question. The council also gets direction from key policy documents, such as the Transportation Master Plan. Here, Action T-2 4.3 advises the council to work with bike share providers to create regulations that facilitate bike share, such as making stations easy to site and operationally sound. The council also gets policy guidance from its goals, and the balanced transportation goal advises the council to reduce reliance on single occupancy vehicles and improve connectivity and multimodal mobility in Kirkland in ways that maintain and enhance travel time, safety, health, and transportation choices. So let's talk briefly about some of the stated benefits and challenges of bike share. Here are some of the things people say they like about bike share. Bike share can be healthy and fun. Bike share may make it easy to access transit. That would be the first mile to the bus and the last mile home. Bike share can be affordable and convenient. Bike share could be great for visitors and tourism. Bike share may make it easier than parking a car downtown. Here are some of the things people say they don't like about bike share. Bike share can create clutter and look like litter. Bike share could clog our bike lanes and racks. Bike share seems unsafe without helmets. Bike share can result in block sidewalks and building entrances. Bike share could require subsidies from local government. Let's take a look at how the city could address these challenges both without a pilot program and with one. Without a bike share pilot permit program, there would likely be fewer bike share bikes present in the city. The city could authorize removal and recover removal costs for issues such as bikes causing a safety hazard, bikes left idle in one location, or bikes parked inappropriately. With a bike share pilot permit program, there would likely be more bike share bikes present in the city. 
the city could authorize removal and recover removal costs for the same issues that I just discussed, but also the city could limit the number of companies and bikes, charge providers for operating in Kirkland. The city could require redistribution of bikes and provide incentives for parking at designated hubs and or restrict parking at designated areas. And the city could also require quick response to complaints. So bike share bikes are showing up in Kirkland. This is your opportunity to advise the city council on whether or not they should adopt a bike share pilot program. Please take a minute to click on the link below and answer the questions or to fill out the paper survey that will be presented to you as part of this presentation. And thank you for your participation. In helping us, you help to make our city the best place to live, work, and play.